Attorneys for the family of a 17 year old shot and killed by a Greensboro police officer respond to the DA's decision not to file charges in this case. The family also saw the body cam footage from the night that he died before it's released to the public. WFMY News 2's Daniel Cruz takes a closer look at where this case stands right now. Attorneys representing the family of 70, 17 year old Nisanto Crenshaw watched the body cam footage of the shooting today. They also named Matthew Sletton as the officer who shot and killed Crenshaw last August. Police say the officer attempted to stop Crenshaw's Nissan Altima along Market Street on August 21st. When the officer approached the car, police say the driver drove off. In a report by the district attorney, an investigation found Sletton fired three shots into the windshield and passenger side windows, killing Crenshaw when he allegedly accelerated toward the officer. The DA's report found the shooting justified, stating that the officer's life was threatened by the teen driving toward him. Attorneys representing the 17-year-old's family say the body cam footage will show the teen attempting to drive around the officer and not toward them. As representatives of this family, we're not going to allow a narrative bit put out there that's simply not true. It's not true that Santal Crenshaw was killed unlawfully. When the video comes out, take, you don't have to take my word for it. The video speaks for itself. Attorneys for Crenshaw's family filed a lawsuit claiming the shooting was not justified, and that's why they're moving forward with a lawsuit. The family wants the person to be criminally prosecuted, either under the state or federal court on the civil rights violations on the federal court. So and that's clearly what they prefer. And if they don't get that, then they'd rather termination. Guilford County District Attorney Avery Crump says deadly force, although tragic, was justified in this case and criminal charges will not be filed. A judge granted GPD's petition to have the body cam footage released to the public. A department spokesperson says that will likely not happen until April 25th.